I don't know why, but I was really drawn to change the scenery up today. So I'm going to do today's reading outside. And ironically enough, this was the card that came out while I was shuffling the first deck here. Amethyst Metamorphosis. You are in a vortex of deep transformation. Surrender to the process that is unfolding. You're changing, you're transforming. I'm going to get more clarification from these cards here today. I hope the lighting is okay. It looks kind of dark on my phone, but we're going to roll with it. I'm not going to worry about it because that's my nature is to worry about it. <laughs> Let's see. All right. Can we clarify this transformation that's happening? Guidance, clarification. What do we need to know? What do we need to hear? Thank you. Okay, so that's the Four of Cups. Followed by the wheel. Mm -hmm. What's the last card that we have today? It's so beautiful. I don't know if you can hear all the birds. Yeah, okay. You have been in this energy lately of discontentment or unhappiness, right? There's three cups here, but there's a fourth cup behind you. You finally saw that fourth cup. You've been looking out here so long and you're like, you know, these cups, they're empty. They're standing in front of me, but they're empty. This cup back here, I don't know if it's empty, but it's glowing. It's glowing. <laughs> and look at the beautiful water behind him. He's unhappy with where he is, but he has recently turned around and seen that cup. You want to know how I know? Because the next card was the wheel. Luck, progress, and change. What's the change? What's the transformation? That is a little B. <laughs> the six of air, moving to calmer waters, moving on, hope, relief, change. <laughs> you decided to change. You decided to move on from something that was no longer filling your cup, was no longer making you happy. You decided, what else is out there? Let's take a gander, let's see. At the bottom, though, we have the Four of Pentacles. Ah, and the Five of Fire, followed by the Two of Pentacles. I'll show you these here in a second. <laughs> and the Page of Air. Okay. So the Four of Earth and the Five of Fire. Talk about control and conflict. Okay. Control and conflict. See the door behind her? It's closed. But she locked it. <laughs> She locked it. How do I know? Because she also feels stuck in this conflict with these wands, but they're her wands. She did that. She's in her own way. But by bringing in more balance, change and transformation, playfulness, things change. Okay? Truthful, analytical, and what was that? Outspoken. You are starting to change and transition by being more childlike, by taking risks, by doing things that you wouldn't normally do, right? Look, she is walking on the like balance beam of this fence and she could potentially fall in, right? But there's a boat there. There's something there to save her if she falls in. She's kind of stepped back from the analytical thinking a little bit and is trying, trying to release that control, that need to be right, that need to know the next move and the next thing that's going to happen. Right now, your angels want you to just let the energy flow. That's not easy. I'm well aware of that. <laughs> uh, any other guidance or advice? Oh, I also want to note here, look, you're moving on to calmer waters, but look, the swords are in the water there. The swords are leading the way. You're being told which direction to go. Your angels are guiding you. They are literally guiding you and they're not going to let you go the wrong way. We have to trust that. And it's not easy to trust things that we don't know and we don't understand, right? Go with what path is being lit up for you. It's being lit up. And when the angels communicate with you, it's always in very subtle ways. So, for example, if somebody says, oh, you should do this or you should try this, and you're like, nah, guess what? It'll come back around. Somebody else will say it too, or it'll start popping up on your social media, and you'll start seeing it to the point where one day you're like, you know, maybe I should try that. I keep seeing that happen. I keep seeing that pop up. 
right now you're probably seeing lots of butterflies <laughs> to signify your change and your transformation. Is there any other guidance, advice that we want to discuss today? My goodness, these cards are not very chatty today. Over the weekend, they've been like flying everywhere. I just got a text message too that says never. <laughs> Maybe you've said, I'm never doing something again. I'm never living this life again. There we go. Aha, uh -huh. she came back out. Balance. Prioritize yourself. Prioritize fun. Prioritize playfulness. Prioritize taking small risks. There are also pentacles or coins on this fence too that she doesn't even know are there. Yep. Yep. <laughs> And we're back at the bottom here. Okay, so we have the nine of air and the two of air. So look, negativity, worry, sleeplessness, indecision, avoidance, and confusion. Your worrying is what is stopping you. Your mind is what is stopping you. And the bird chirping was confirmation. <laughs> it's time to try and get out of our own head. Do things to get those thoughts out because you are in the middle of a transformation, a huge transformation, and your angels right now just want you to surrender. Can I get one more Archangel, please, to end the reading off today? Another purple card, Zadkiel. <laughs> Zadkiel is the Archangel of change and transformation, okay? Karmic release. It is time to release what is holding you back and step into a more radiant self. It is time to embrace the changes. It is time to take changes, baby steps. For example, I did my readings outside today that I no don't normally do. And I don't like to do them outside because the light can change. You can hear things, you can see random things, but I decided to change it up. Change things up, okay? Try your best to change things up. But most importantly, get out of your own head. You are the main thing holding you back right now. It's time to decide to change these things. I really hope that this message helped you today. I was thrown out of my element a little bit. So hopefully this message helps you. Again, the wheel is starting to turn in your favor, but you have to release what is no longer serving you and just surrender to the changes that are happening. At the bottom, we have Metatron and I'll end it here. Your current situation is in alignment with your mission here on earth. You just have to get out of your own head. 